If you, at any point in the past, have tried to lose weight and you were not ultimately successful with it, meaning that you lost weight and you kept it off, then this video is for you. If you're new here, my name is Ben Richardson. I am a personal trainer. I'm also a chemical engineer. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why you can't lose weight. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it is going to teach you how to live a healthy life through sustainable nutrition so that you can lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into today's video though. So I just kind of wanna preface the video by saying if you have tried to lose weight in the past by whatever means and you did not ultimately succeed with it, I'm just here to tell you that it is not your fault. And I'll circle back around to why in a bit here, but let me just give you a bit of background on my experience losing weight and how I went about it and stuff. So as of this recording, it was about four years ago when I started losing weight. And how I went about things is I just listened to a lot of the mainstream nutrition advice going around at the time. So a bunch of diets that were big back then were things like Adkins, Keto, Paleo was big. Um, let's see what else. Uh, veganism was big. I straight up went vegan for a few weeks. I tried fasting for four days straight just to lose weight. Uh, what was one of the other ones? The carnivore diet. That was also big back at the time. I tried all these diets because they were all trending and people were seeing success with them. I tried all of them and I was able to kind of get results, but I did not ultimately succeed. And that right there is why I say that it is not your fault. If you have tried and you have failed and you did not ultimately succeed with weight loss, it's not your fault. Because all of the mainstream nutrition advice out there is trash. It's absolute trash. Not only is it trash, it is deliberately trash because it sets you up for ultimate failure. Now, I keep saying the word ultimate because I'm talking long term. Some of those diets, they certainly work. That's why people do them. Because you can get some results with them. I was able to make some progress. I lost some weight to some degree with a lot of those diets and a lot of those methods, but I did not ultimately master control over my nutrition through any of those diets. And that's because the nutrition industry, the fitness industry, they know what they're doing. They look at their business analytics every day. They do their marketing with intention. They have scientists and engineers formulating whatever products it is that they sell or coming up with these diets where people have to invest money into services or products and they keep coming back to them. They're good at it. And it's, it's all based around money. Because think about this. If you actually learned how to lose weight and keep it off forever... You wouldn't need them. You wouldn't need big nutrition and fitness companies selling you protein bars and special creatine blends and super greens and whey protein and whatever. Take your pick, whatever it is. You wouldn't need those. And so what some of these companies do or some of these programs or some of these diets, what they do is they know exactly how to get people enough results so that they can use that as a means to market and sell products and services. Just enough that people believe it, just enough that it's believable that you can lose weight by these means. But that's why I keep using the word ultimate. Ultimate success with weight loss looks like losing weight and keeping it off for the rest of your life. It's not just go on a diet, you know, slim down over the course of a few months and then you go back to living however you were. It is about mastering your eating habits for the rest of your life. That is what losing weight and keeping it off is all about. That is why nutrition mastery is the focus of my channel. And it's all based around mastering control over what you put into your mouth every single day. That is the key to success with this stuff and that is why it is not your fault Maybe you tried some of those, those diets and you lost a few pounds. Maybe you even lost up to like 20 pounds or something. And then you gained it all back because, I don't know, let's use keto for example. You cut carbs hard. You ate no carbs or anything for a whole month or two and you lost a bunch of weight. 
but then you realize that you ultimately can't what are you gonna live the rest of your life and never eat carbs again and so you reintroduce carbs back into your diet and you gain a lot of that weight back maybe you even gain all of it back maybe you even gain back more weight and you tried that diet because it's mainstream because everyone says it works but the thing is it's almost like those diets and all the products associated with them. You know, there's Adkins bars and Adkins treats and Adkins this. Same with keto. There's these super keto bars. There's keto friendly, keto approved this and that. It's a whole industry. Pe people make products and make services and programs around the keto diet as a whole. And they're very profitable because it works just enough to make it believable. It works just enough that people buy into it, but it ultimately does not bring them the success that they want by mastering their daily eating habits so that they can lose weight and keep it off forever. Mastering your weight management, that, that's what it's about. That is what nutrition is about. And I have tons of other content on my channel on how you can go about doing this. You want to do things like, I love intermittent fasting. I'm a big fan of intermittent fasting to lose weight and keep it off. You have to track your calories at least for some given period of time. You need a baseline understanding of how much food you are eating, how many calories are in the foods that you find yourself eating often, and then you can kind of categorize them by what foods are worth it and what foods are not. You also need to eat a proper macronutrient split. Don't restrict carbs. Don't restrict fat. I really don't know anyone who restricts protein, but you need to eat in a proper macronutrient split. And another really useful weight loss tip is to just walk more. Get more general movement in. Walking is the ultimate form of cardio because anyone can do it and it doesn't increase your appetite. And that right there, like high intense cardios like running and doing the elliptical and jump roping i mean i jump rope sometimes but um what are some other ones the stationary bike any kind of really intense cardio that is bound to increase your appetite and that kind of that's ultimately just shooting yourself in the foot in terms of losing weight again with the mainstream advice oh yeah losing weight is all about going to the gym every day and doing tons of cardio and and running for a few miles every single day that's the only way you lose weight no Losing weight and keeping it off is about mastering your eating habits. Anyone who tells you anything differently than that is lying to you, trying to sell you something, and they are not painting the entire picture. They're not telling the full truth. You are no exception to the laws of thermodynamics because a calorie is a calorie. Calories in, calories out. No one is an exception to that, but that's a good thing. Me saying that should not discourage you. It is a good thing because if it worked for me and it's worked for other people who have done this and had success with it, it will work for you too because you are not an exception. But the problem is how do you eat in a calorie deficit easily? How do you track your macronutrients so that it's easy? How do you practice intermittent fasting so that it is just lifestyle friendly and it's not going to be this pain in the butt thing for you to stick to every day? Subscribe to my channel to find out. And if you need a more structured program to follow, I do offer a course called Nutritional Habits Therapy. It's my eight-week course on how to master your eating habits for the rest of your life so that you can lose weight and keep it off. I will leave a link in the description below to that if you're interested in learning more about it. And there's also a free intermittent fasting guide down there as well that you can download just to get you started. And with the intermittent fasting guide, it'll give you a eating schedule, there's a sample meal plan, there's grocery lists of good foods to be eating to lose weight. What else is there? There's sample recipes. And the sample recipes, they're very, very simple. It, you're not going to need 13 steps to cook whatever dishes. But anyway, go pick that up. It's absolutely free. Go pick it up in the description below. It's all yours for free. It'll just get you started. That is why you can't lose weight. And that's what you need to change. You need to change. You need to get out of your own head first. You need to stop just accepting that you can't lose weight. Okay? Like I just said, you're no exception to thermodynamics. But it's a good thing. Because if other people can do it, you can do it too. You're not too old 
You're not genetically cursed or anything with a slow metabolism or something. So just get out of your own head. I mean, I, I know it's pretty generic, even cliche advice, but get out of your own head. Stop identifying as someone who can't lose weight, as someone who's fat, as someone who is stuck and they will never get control over this stuff. Everyone is good at something. If they would just practice the discipline at that one thing that they're good at and they'd apply it to mastering their eating habits, they'd get this stuff under control. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up right now. Again, if you're new here, I do want you to subscribe to my channel because it's going to teach you how to master control of your eating habits so that you can lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. And I do post every week, so you don't want to be missing out. Go ahead and subscribe. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope this was eye-opening for you. I hope this was enlightening for you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.